physiotherapist here at Bodywork Sports Physiotherapy in North Vancouver. This is the fourth video in a series that we are posting each week to guide you through an exercise to get your body ready for ski season. If you've been following along, then you're already working on the endurance of your thigh and glute muscles, as well as the strength of your hip abductors. So this week, we're going to put that all together and work on the dynamic wall squat. I'm going to demonstrate this with a ball, but it can just as easily be done without. And the technique points are going to be very much the same as for the wall set. So choose your floor surface and your footwork combination to make sure you're not going to slip. Start with your feet hip width apart, far enough away from you so that as you lower down, you can create 90 degree angles at your hips, knees, and ankles. Now instead of hanging out here like we did in the wall set, right away you're going to drive with your glutes to bring your hips back up to the starting position. So more continuously, it looks something like that. Make sure that your knees are tracking over your second toes. This is the job of your hip abductors, so really focus there if you're having trouble keeping that alignment. A sample program to start might be three sets of 20 repetitions, taking two minutes to rest in between. If you want to up the difficulty, as always, you can increase the number of reps, increase the number of sets, or decrease the rest time. You can also experiment with the pace of the exercise. Taking lots of time to do the movement, especially the lowering phase, is a really good challenge for your muscles. You also want to practice at a pace that mimics your skiing rhythm. Now, skiing is a two-legged activity, but we know that we have most of our weight on one ski at a time as we're carving. So when you feel like you've mastered the two-legged wall squat, challenge yourself to weight one side more. Some of the ways you might do this would be putting the other foot further out in front as you do the movement, or like we talked about in the wall sit, taking some or all of your other foot off the ground. Now you're going to have to shift your weight to allow this, but it shouldn't involve any tilt of the trunk or the pelvis. Try and keep all that level to bring your weight over. And that's it. Go get to work. And remember to check out Bodywork Sports Physiotherapy on Facebook, YouTube, and our website, body-works.ca, for next week's video. If you have any comments to share about the videos, we'd love to hear them, so please leave us a comment on Facebook. Thanks for watching.